What's up everyone, American Pizza Books here. So once again, it's been a few months, you know, the usual running theme on this channel, but I recently bought uh, quite a number of books recently. Uh, I came across some money, a friend paid me back and I completely forgot about it and paid me back in cash. So I figured, well, I'll buy myself a few Amazon gift cards because I've got quite the list on Amazon in terms of books and I'll just uh, order some stuff from that list. And also just get some stuff from like some series that I've been reading too. So it's kind of divided up into standalone books, although some of them are still technically a part of a series, but it's just like a sequel, like a two-part series. And then these other books are part of a longer series. So that's what this is going to be. So you might recognize a few authors in this uh, book haul, whatever you want to call it. And if not, maybe you might discover some new authors. So... First one I'll start off with is Depraved 2 by Brian Smith. This is part of a uh, Extreme Horror series. This is book two. It's a four book series. I don't know if the author is continuing the series or if book four is the, fin is the finale of it. But uh, yeah, I read the first one uh, pretty recently, a few, eh, not about a week ago, a little over a week ago. And um, pretty good if you like Extreme Horror, though. If you're sensitive to, like, sexual content, sexual assaults, extreme violence, anything like that, cannibalism, you might want to skip this. But uh, if you want to take a chance on something, I'd say go for it. If you're not, if you can handle that stuff, then I'd say go for it. And I know with extreme horror, it did, people tend to think that it's just, it's basically like the slasher movies of, of horror literature, basically. But uh, Brian Smith's writing is actually pretty good for an extreme horror series, I will say. So maybe give Brian Smith a shot. And then I also got uh, Depraved 3. And then now I'll, all I have to get is Depraved 4 later on. Right. Uh, I got Haunted Hotel by Lee Mountford. This is book 7, as you can right there, book 7. As part of the Haunted series, this is a nine book series. I believe the ninth book was the final book in the series. But if you like paranormal stuff, paranormal like ghosts and basically like paranormal creatures almost, uh, you will love, love this series. Lee Mountford, he writes spirits and entities in such like, like graphic detail, like very, very... He just writes it very, very well. So if you like paranormal stuff, definitely give this series a look. The first book is okay, but then from there on it really picks up and gets better and better and better and better. So I would highly recommend, definitely. No one writes entities and spirits and ghosts quite like Lee Mountford does, in my opinion. So. All right. Uh, this is Drug Lord by Patrick Logan. It's part one. This is... I believe it is book six in the series. Now, this is part of the, the Detective Damien Drake series. Now, I don't typically get into, like, detective and series and, like, crime fiction, like the James Pattersons, Michael Connellys, and stuff like that of the world, because I just find that genre to be, like, very overdone, in my opinion, at least. I think that the market is quite flooded with like detective series and uh, special agent series and stuff like that. I feel like they're kind of a dime a dozen at this point. But I got hooked on the Damian Drake series because I had read Patrick Logan's horror-based stuff because he also does horror stuff. But he had this series out and looked really, really popular. It had like thousands of views on it, uh, reviews on Amazon, rather. And so I decided to give it a shot. I did start with the Dr. Becca Campbell series originally. But when I found out that, you know, a lot of these characters are in the same, like, worlds and they interact with each other, I decided to go back to the Damien Drake series and start reading it, and I have gotten absolutely hooked. So, even if you're not typically a fan of detective series and stuff like that, I would really recommend giving uh, Damien Drake series by Patrick Logan a, uh, just a look. Just give it a shot. He also does the Chase Adams series, which is also a character in this world and the Becca Campbell series I'd recommend all three of them right now I'm trying to read them in chronological order by release date so but this is drug lord part one 
and Drug Lord Part 2. Alright, so this is part of the Chase Adams series. This is Amber Alert. And uh, I like the... I like the covers of these, actually. I mean, I like the covers of all the books in this series. In this series, the uh, Damien Drake series and the Becca Campbell series, I think the covers look pretty cool, actually. And also, if you do want to check out Patrick Logan, you probably won't have any luck finding him in, like, Barnes & Noble because he is very much an independent author. So if you do want to check out his work, I would say just go to Amazon and, and order something because, you know, like I said... I, maybe you might find something in like a used bookstore possibly but I'd say just go with Amazon honestly but Amber Alert and then an Amber Alert is book four this is book five uh, Dirty Money and I believe in the Chase Adams series right now there is 14 books and I believe it's ongoing I think it's the longest it's longer than the Damian Drake series. It's longer than the Becca Campbell series. So, all right. So now we'll move on to uh, some of the novels. So, All the Fiends of Hell by Adam Neville. This is his newest release, and by all accounts, it's pretty pretty good. I usually enjoy everything I read by Adam Neville. I recently read The Ritual. I just finished that yesterday. Um, fantastic book. Probably his most popular book, but I'd still recommend it. And yeah, this is his newest one, All the Fiends of Hell. I believe it's like Alien Invasion, or it has something to do with aliens, I believe. So, his take on an alien invasion. We got Allison by Jeff Strand. Now, I had read Sick House by Jeff Strand. And he tends to, he does horror, but it's also he adds some like dark black humor in his in his books and stuff. So kind of unique, but uh, and apparently he's been nominated for the Bram Stoker Award. I, I knew that already. I'm not just finding out by looking at the at the thing, but yeah, I mean he's fairly well out there. Uh, again, I don't ever see his stuff in Barnes and Noble. So again, he might be one of those authors where you just have to either check on Amazon or you might have or you could possibly find it again in maybe a used bookstore books on sale something like that so but yeah this is Allison this is one I had in my list for a while I don't remember the storyline off the top of my head but I believe it's supernatural in nature but I could be mistaken this is the app by Stuart James now, I've never read this author before. I, I came across his books on Amazon, just, just casually looking around. Came across this one, and there's a few others I have on my Amazon list, but I decided to go with this one for now. So I'm assuming it's like, uh, involves like an app, or like a haunted app, or like a cursed app or something. So um, pretty, pretty neat little concepts, more modern day concepts, because, you know, apps and stuff we everyone has a cell phone now and has a everyone has a bunch of apps on their cell phones so i just figured it was kind of cool so more of a horror with a modern day thing involved okay. this is brother by let's see ania alborn this one has almost, I think, over 11,000 reviews on Amazon, and I've seen it around, and the storyline is intriguing. So I decided to pick it up, added it to my list a while ago. I think this is more along the lines of a thriller as opposed to a horror, but I assume it has, like, horror elements in it, or, like, a psychological-based horror elements in it or something, so. But, uh, yeah. And apparently this author has a bunch of other books, too, so. Maybe keep on an eye out for her stuff. This is Michael Brent Collings. So, I have two of his books. The other book that I have from him is The Loon. And this one has been on my list for quite some time. I believe I added this all the way back in like 2021 or 2022. 
So I decided it was high time that I buy this one since it's been on my list forever. And since I have another book by him. And again, I've heard nothing but good things about this author and about his works. This book, I believe, is also part of a series. But I think each book is its separate story. It just happens to be in like a series of books. I could be very mistaken on that, so don't take my word for it. But yeah, I think this has to do, this one has to do with like home invasion. Um, and again, it just it sounded pretty good. So I decided to give it a look and plus it's a good sized, fairly meaty book. So it's always nice. But yeah, Michael, Michael Brent Collings, I think. I don't know if that's like the actual like full name or not, but if so, that's kind of unique. Uh, Return to Black Farm by Elias Withrow. Uh, so, the first this is the this is the sequel to The Black Farm by Elias Withrow. I've read that one, and since I'd read that one already, I read it last year and really really enjoyed it. I decided it was high time to get the sequel. Um, highly highly recommend. If you've not read The Black Farm by Elias Withrow, highly recommend. Again, it is. It basically is extreme horror, but it's also a lot more than that, in my opinion. So again, if you're sensitive to extreme horror elements, maybe don't pick it up. But otherwise, definitely, definitely give it a shot. We got The Lost by Jack Ketchum. I think some of you will recognize Jack Ketchum. He's been around for a while, obviously. The Girl Next Door. I think that's probably his biggest work based on a true story. And, you know, he's had some other books, but this one stood out to me. And again, uh, it's been on my list for a bit and uh, it has like a nice, there's a nice uh, thing by Stephen King there. But yeah, I read The Girl Next Door and I really, really liked it. And this one seems pretty to be pretty interesting. So decided to pick this one up. Got Red, another one by Jack Ketchum. The story of this one seems to be pretty simple, but it sounds really good still. It's about this guy who, uh, these like three teenagers, uh, I guess kill this guy's dog. And so then this guy goes on like, t t like goes on, it's like a revenge story basically. And he goes around taking out these teenagers. I get, that's what I'm assuming it's about from the synopsis that I read. So uh, it's basically a guy taking revenge for a couple of punk kids killing his dog. So uh, basically the less, uh, I, I'm reminded of the John Wick movies, uh, but probably not to that extent at all. But uh, yeah, so anyways, read by Jack Ketchum. And the last one, uh, in the Valley of the Sun by Andy Davidson. So, from what I've read, this is kind of like it's kind of like a west. It's a it's a horror story, but in a western setting. Now, I'm not usually a fan of western stuff. It's just not really my cup of tea. But this seemed pretty intriguing, and apparently it has to do with vampires. So that could be really good. And I've just seen this one floating around Amazon for a while. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, picking up a lot of reviews, so I decided I would check it out. So, that's kind of the story behind that one. And the cover is fucking awesome. I love this cover. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. All the books that I got. And hopefully I will be back soon with more reviews or whatever it is I decide to do. I know that I made a post a while ago talking about some ideas that I wanted to do. I never did get to them, so maybe I'll get to those ideas at some point. But yeah, so that's it for this one. Take it easy and keep on reading.